Hi, Kurt Kahn here. I'd like to start off by asking you a question. Have you ever had a real desire to know the Lord more personally, more intimately, more experientially? Well, if you have had that desire, we have some good news for you. The Lord has given what his will is for you on this issue in Psalm 46.10, first part of that, ten, of that uh, psalm. Be still and know that I am God. And I'm sure you've heard that. You've probably recited it yourself. Well, I was curious uh, a number of years ago. Uh, I've heard it so often, I thought, I'd like to check this out a little bit, see what it means. So uh, doing some commentary work, some word study and stuff. I realized there were a couple of things I wasn't seeing clearly on this. First of all, be still. I always thought it was like God saying to us, pat you on the back and you'll be okay, it's all right, you know. It doesn't mean that at all. It's God's word to the Israelites, and what he was saying to them was, knock it off, in our, in our vernacular. Stop striving. Stop trying to handle things in your own strength. Stop. It's almost like taking a two-year-old and saying, go sit over there in the corner, time out. I said, wow, okay. So, be still. And then, and know that I am God. I thought, well, that's interesting. No, know. know that he is God. And I looked that up, and it's a powerful little Hebrew word, yada. Y-A-D-A, -A, yada. And it means to know intimately personally, and experientially. And this is what God wants for us. Now we can know a lot about God. We've learned a lot about God at Sunday school, in sermons. We've learned about God. It's like learning about Abraham Lincoln. Uh, we can study him. We can learn about his background and everything. We know a lot about Abraham Lincoln, but do we know Abraham Lincoln personally, intimately, experientially? Of course not. Of course not. So how does this happen? If we have this desire in us, God put this desire in us, and he's inviting us to enter into this. It's by the Holy Spirit. There's only one way we can know this intimacy is by the Holy Spirit. And there was a, a phrase that a guy named Philip Yancey years ago developed that I thought was really interesting. He said the, the progression of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit represents a profound increase in intimacy. Now let's think about that. God the Father above. God the Son with us. God the Holy Spirit in us. A profound increase in intimacy. You know, Scripture says in Corinthians, how can a, a man? How can we understand the thoughts of a man unless you're, you're the man himself? Same way in the Bible. How can we understand the thoughts of God apart from the Spirit of God? And so, all of us who are born again, who have the Spirit of God in us, have the potential to go deeper, more intimately, more experientially, with God. We need to be still. We need to stop running around, using up all our time for other things, devote some time to Him, be still, and know at this level. And the Holy Spirit will do that if we'll ask. He will speak to us. In His Word, He'll speak to us personally. And we will have that level of intimacy that can transform your life. Amen.